The WHAS Crusade for Children is at the heart and soul of Kentucky and special needs communities, giving 100% of the money raised right to the kids. The incredible charity has handed over more than $195 million since first hitting the air in 1954. And tonight, as we mark one week from this year's WHAS Crusade, we revisit that storied history in the WHAS 11 vault. It's 10 p.m. and from Memorial Auditorium on this May 22nd, the 1971 WHAS Crusade for Children is on the air. The history of the WHAS Crusade for Children dates back to 1954, when President Harry Truman was in the White House, and commercials like these played out across America's TV screens. Again for the girl who serves fresh, hot, home-baked sweet rolls. The TV station held a telethon for cerebral palsy, but general manager Vic Scholes had a bigger vision. And we felt that the idea, the concept of using the station to explain to people what problems were afflicting children ought to be done for a broad purpose. He went to the station owner, Barry Bingham Sr., with his big idea, and Bingham agreed. We operated it on the basis of one year at a time. We limited grants to one year. We urged recipients to spend the money within a year. And the 1961 Crusade for Children Chorus. It was decided that a group of clergy would determine where the money goes from the crusade. Ministers from the moral side of the news agreed to take on the task. Showless would later credit them with helping to get the charity off the ground. A crusade for children is just a Aside from the donations, when you think WHAS Crusade, you think firefighters, right? No one knows for sure, but it's believed 1958 was the first year firefighters collected for the crusade. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Hey, this year we collected $11,087.19. Today, fire departments raise more than 50% of the total donations every year by staging roadblocks and collecting at the firehouse. Harrods Creek Fire Station Number 1 saw its most unusual donation in 1986. Three performing dogs. One of them, named Big Blue, stepped on a wooden contraption that catapulted the contribution into the waiting hands of firefighters. Over the years, many big-name stars performed at the crusade, like actor Pat O'Brien, singer Monica Lewis, and the world-famous Cab Calloway. It's the wrong song with the wrong style. And one famous face before everyone knew her name. A young Diane Sawyer was crusade queen runner-up and sang in the crusade chorus during the Eighth Crusade. That year, $230,000 was raised. Fast forward 42 years, the tote board totaled $6.3 million. And this year marks a milestone. It is the golden anniversary of the WHAS Crusade for Children. In its first 67 years, the WHAS Crusade has raised $195 million for children with special needs, overcoming obstacles like every organization that's been around this long, but possibly none, more so than 2020. $1,869.29. When the crusade was postponed for two months due to COVID, roadblocks were eliminated and fundraising efforts more challenging than ever before. Even still, the new total for the, the crusade persevered, crusade for children. raising an astonishing $4.8 million. And then, like they always do, giving 100% of the money to children with special needs across Kentuckyana. So this week, we're asking you to dig deep into your heart and your pockets and help us reach the Crusade's next massive milestone, $200 million. You can donate through your local fire department or directly to the Crusade by text, Facebook, or Venmo. Remember, the 68th WHAS Crusade for Children is this Saturday and Sunday, and I will be hosting with Terry Miners.